Good evening. Heavy rain has failed to stop thousands of people enjoying the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. Street parties and community events have been held across the region, though many had to be moved indoors. Kath Mackey is in Dickens Heath near Soli Hull. Kath, uh, the weather's not put a damper on things too much there then. No, they're a hardy lot here in Dickens Heath, Sarah. When I got here, the band was playing the Dam Busters theme in the pouring rain. It was great, and everyone's just come indoors to have their picnic here in the marquee. And there have been similar scenes at Jubilee parties across the region today. Here's Nadine Tell with some of the highlights. The wet weather failed to dampen the spirits of thousands of partygoers today as communities across the Midlands celebrated the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. In Litchfield, an open-air picnic lunch in the cathedral grounds had to be moved indoors. Picnic blankets covered the cathedral floor, while the historic building echoed to the sounds of the town crier. A street party in Edgbaston in Birmingham became a house party in order to escape from the rain. Organisers claimed it could have been Birmingham's biggest jubilee party. Up to 300 people from the community packed inside thanks to the generosity of the homeowner. It was all her idea. <laughs> we decided yesterday at two o'clock that the weather was going to be awful and we needed to move in from the street to the house. And unfortunately it is my house and here we are. <laughs> in Kenilworth, after celebrating the silver and golden jubilees, this community maintained the tradition with a diamond jubilee party too. And in Hampton in Arden, a marquee sheltered residents as they put on their own jubilee stage show. International food was served at the Brushstrokes Community Centre in Smethwick as local people representing up to 70 different nationalities came together to celebrate. BBC WM's new breakfast presenter Pete Morgan called in as part of a challenge to visit as many Jubilee parties across the West Midlands as he possibly could. By the end of the day I am going to be so full of tea and cake I think I'm going to have to be rolled home. Uh, I'm, I, and in some ways, that's no bad thing. And in Sutton Coalfield, the locals braved the weather to honour the Queen and party in the street. Absolutely fantastic day. Regardless of the rain, we're enjoying ourselves immensely. It's brilliant. This is true British spirit. Exactly, it's, it's, yes. Despite the rain, the Midlands has seen a day packed with parties and celebrations. On this historic Jubilee weekend, the region has done itself and the Queen proud. Nadine Towell, BBC Midlands Today. Well, there's lots of children, as you can see here at Dickens Heath Party. I asked a couple of them today if they knew what this celebration was all about. It's the Diamond Jubilee and... Uh... It's about the 60 years of the Queen being on the throne. The Diamond Jubilee because the Queen's been on the throne for 60 years. Well, uh, with, with the organiser now, uh, Debbie Smith, I was going to ask you, Debbie, if the, the rain's a bit dampener on things, clearly it hasn't. No, not at all. No, it's been a fantastic day, really fantastic. We reckon we've had about 500 people here. The plan was never to get a tan, it was to bring the community together to be quiet for just a minute. Debbie, what is today all about for you? Is it about the community coming together or is it about the Queen? It's about, well, absolutely, it's about bringing Dick and Seed together to support the Queen's reign and it's just lovely to see everybody here. And it is a new community this, isn't it? It's only been around for about 15 years, this village. Has this brought people together? Oh yes, absolutely. We don't have the history some other villages have, but we have the heart. That's great. I'm going to leave it there because I could just about hear myself think, um, please keep sending in your Jubilee pictures because of course there will be street parties over the next uh, couple of days. But from uh, Solly Hull, back to you in the studio. Yeah, they're getting uh, pretty excited there in uh, Dickens Heath.